What is up, everybody? Me, Gustav Knifefist here, and I'm gonna do some NHL Let's Talk. And the topic of today is gonna be the Detroit Red Wings, my favorite team. And we're, I'm gonna do some live commentary here while I play against Bass and good original six matchup here. And the topic I wanna talk about today with the Red Wings is what the hell has been going on with the Red Wings? I mean, if anyone who's been wa following the Red Wings, they've they've lost a shit. Like they've they've just been losing, just plain old losing. And you know, what the, one of the main things personally, I think, is the reason why the Red Wings are losing so bad right now is Jimmy Howard's lackluster play. I mean, it is just horrible. Um. You know, when he he had a really good season, and I mean like a really good season in the beginning. His save percentage was up there. His, oh shit. Well, that was interesting. His save percentage was up there. You know, his goals against, it was just, they, like he couldn't do no wrong almost. And along comes a groin injury and up steps... Peter Mrazek, and that's a penalty on Quincy, obviously. <laughs> Up steps Peter Mrazek, and he just plays phenomenally. I mean, there, the kid just goes on, I don't even like, an 8-1-1 record when Jimmy Howard's away. And ever since Howard comes back from his injury, Babcock has insisted we play the goal. That was a bad, that was a bad play. That was a bad play. Oh, okay, good job, Jimbo. Anyway, uh, uh, since um, Jimmy Howard's come back, Babcock has insisted that Jimmy Howard's our starting goaltender, and we have to have faith in our goalies and whatever. But ever since he's come back from his groin tear injury, Jimmy Howard has gone has an .89 save percentage. His save percentage has gone down from I think .918 to .912, and his goals against is now approaching. It's closer to three than two. That much I know. Um, and goaltending really needs to be addressed here. It, some, I mean, I was watching the game yesterday against, or I was watching the game against the Arizona Coyotes, and it was just bad. <laughs> it was just bad. I mean, um, if any of you watched that final goal Jimmy Howard gave up, um, I mean... Someone in Pee Wee could have stopped that. Someone in Pee Wee could have stopped that shot that Howard saved. And I don't know if it's just a lack of confidence. Um, a lack of confidence or, you know, he's just legitimately that bad right now. But um, something needs to be done. You know, Babcock needs to send a message. He needs to sit Jimmy Howard for a few games. Let the kid Mrazek have a few of the starts, because ever since Jimmy Howard's been pulling a Jimmy Howard, you know, one of the most inconsistent goalies in the frickin' league, we just haven't been we just haven't been the Red Wings that we were at like at, at the middle of the season. So that's enough about that for now. We're gonna focus on this game and see you know what we can do here against Baston. Oh, nice check by Zidlitschke there. All right, let's pass it to Z. Nice deke. Oh! Oh, attaboy Zidlitschke. See, Zidlitschke is one of those players I didn't like that we picked off during the draft, but I'm really happy we picked Zidlitschke up. I mean, that, the right-handed shot, I mean, thank God. Like, we need one so bad. We needed one so bad. Steven Weiss, you know, a few of the other guys could do without, but I mean, Zidlitschke's okay. Oh, I wanted to pass that. God damn it. All right. Good save by Rast there, I suppose. Good save. Good save, buddy. I'll give it to you. All right. Let's go with Riley Sheehan, Sheehan here. See what's going to happen. Man, the guy's not playing. Wonderful. All right, over to Zidlitschke. Oh, me go oh, Nyquist. Oh, nice try. Oh, the goose, nice try. Oh, nice interception. Oh, God, that was bad. All right, Nyquist, come on. <gasps> nice, good job, goose. Oh, goose. Oh, goose. Goose! 
Goose! Oh, God! Oh, Goose! Oh, the rasky foot of bitch! Oh, Eric! Thomas, here we go! Oh, what a play. Oh, wow, well, what a play by Gustav Nyquist. What a play by Thomas Jerko, too. Oh, that was beautiful. Is this guy going to watch the replay? Yeah, you let it go, bud. I don't know what else you want me to say. Also, really something really interesting, Boston, you know, what's going on with them? They're not as strong as they, they've been, you know. Are they going to make the playoffs this year? Uh, really a lot of questions in Boston as well. Alright, let's go. Dotsik with the face-off win. And he's not playing. Whatever. Oh, never mind. Good. He's a good sport. He's playing. Oh, good save by Rast there. Good save. Alright, first period. Not bad if I do say so myself. What are the shots on goal here? Seven shots to one. All right, I say we're doing pretty goodly. Uh, let's see. What else can I talk about for Detroit right now? Ah, the trade pickups. The deadline. Uh, like I said, Zidlitschke, big fan. Uh, big fan of Zidlitschke. There is no reason. There is no negative picking him up. I mean, we only gave up, I think, a third or something for Zidlitschke. Uh Eric Cole, not a fan of at all. The guy is slow, like, ever since... I know he's, he's... People say, oh, he's a fast power forward, whatever. Not really. Um, he, I don't think he fits in the Detroit system of play very well. Um, I think they w were better off get... If they got someone else, they'd be way better off. Personally. Okay, let's change the lines up here. Oh, that was a bad line change. Oh, that would have been in if that didn't miss the net. See, this is Eric Cole right here. Um, he's not incredibly fa Oh, that was good. That was lucky, but good play by Krug there. Oh, nice play, Quincy. One timer that to Kaiser. Oh, good save by Rask. Good save. Um, I don't know. I just think ever since they picked up Eric Cole, it just hasn't been great. I mean, if you look at like players like Gustav Nyquist, who just got his 23rd goal after being on a tear like for the first part of the season that's because he got relegated to third line because Ken Holland has this fetish for old people like he just has a fetish for old guys coming in old guys like freaking Eric Cole coming in and taking the young guy spots and then people are surprised why Nyquist has like a minus 11 or 13 or wherever he is it's because he your third line guys your third line guys are supposed to be defensive minded players and honestly, Nyquist belongs on a fucking second line. He is not gonna. Pl he's he's not going to be that type of guy who plays defense, and that's a penalty. Um, <laughs> he's not the type of guy who's gonna play defense. You know, he is strictly your first line. Play him with you know. Play him with Hank. Play him with Dotsuk. Don't relegate someone as talented offensively as Nyquist to the third line where he's just he's not doing anything and then you guys and people are criticizing him because he's expected to play third line minutes like 22 goals is not third line minutes like third line statistics for someone who, who should play the third line oh that would oh <laughs> Nyquist another setup by Gustav alright whatever um who else? Let's see, who else? Um, Alright, Jonathan Erickson. Um, one of the biggest reasons why our defense is horrible is Jonathan Erickson. The guy is slow as hell. Um, we need to get rid of him as quick as possible. Oh, that was bad play by me there. We need to get rid of him as soon as possible. Um, he, he just isn't a, a good player, period. I mean, he's... If you were to put him on a third line, okay. And don't even get me started on Steven Weiss's contract. But, um... There's just a lot of things wrong right now, you know. You brought in Eric Cole, you brought in Zidlitschke, and... Zidlitschke has actually been pretty good. I have no problems with Marek Zidlitschke. 
Uh, I think he's blended in quite nicely. But the real problem is Eric Cole and guys like Nyquist suffering because of Ken Holland's old man fetish. Um, I don't think we're at that point where we're, we need to rebuild. Like, we're not... We're not at the point where we, like, we're rebuilding, but we're in a transition phase right now. And guys, this is really bad power play right now. Anyway, oh my god, it's her. What the fuck, dude? Let me just concentrate, because I can't talk and play at the same time. My guys are just totally shitting the bed right now. Anyway, okay. Uh, I just hate this old man fetish he has. And, um, I just hate watching good players suffer for it. Alright, bud, what are you gonna do? Oh, that's what I thought. Anyway. Oh my god, Cronwall is bad. Ooh, good save by Jimmy. Ooh! <laughs> good play by Rask. Oh, nice butterfly. Anyway, um... This team is in a transition phase, and we can't have got old guys like Cole and Jadliski coming in. I mean, Jadliski's fine, but again, Cole. Uh, we can't have them come in and just take our spots. Plus, we have a, you know, we have some injuries to key players right now. Dotsuk, so Cronwall, so um, Cole just got injured. So whoopty frickin' d, right? Our trade acquisition just got injured. Um. Just a lot, just a lot of bad. Oh, and Thomas Yurko, right? Thomas Yurko has not been playing well at all. I mean, it is just bad. It is borderline disgusting. <laughs> oh, Cromwell. It is borderline disgusting how Yurko is playing. Um, I don't know. Personally, I would trade him. Uh, I don't think he has much of a future in Detroit. He doesn't fit. He's a, you know, he's more of like a dangler kind of play, dangle kind of player, but um. That is not who I wanted to pass to. Um, Nyquist and Tatar fill in the, you know, the thing one, thing two quite nicely on the wing. And I think Yurko is just the odd one left out. You know, we need to trade him for like, I don't know, just, just, it feels bad because I know a lot of people, Yurko has a lot of upside to him, but this year he just hasn't been shown anything. So... You know, it's better for us to let him seek his fortunes elsewhere rather than keep him in Detroit and just have him suffer. Like, just shit the bed continuously. Alright, let's see what... Oh god, that was bad. Alright, Brennan Smith, take it in, son. Take it in. All right, Shahan Zidlitschke gets fucking blocked as usual. Oh, good save by Rast there, I guess, I suppose. Oh, Lucic got wrecked there. That was good. All right, Joaquim Anderson. Howard with a good, nice save. Chara tries to hit Gustav. Doesn't really work out that well. Oh, Zetterberg, dude! <laughs> Come on, like, don't get in the way like that, Just bitch. Oh, no, that was an interesting... Okay, he still has the puck, wonderful. Alright, let's go. Someone knocked off Howard, let's fight. Oh, come on. Oh, man. All right, all right, all right, all right. Chris Kelly, good job. Good job. Yeah, you wash your hands, buddy. That was, that was a good fight, I guess. That was anticlimactic as fuck.
to number 23, Chris Kelly, a five-minute major for fighting. All right, Danny D, Marchand. Oh, that was interesting. No one knows where the puck is, <laughs> apparently. All right, I avoid it. All right, out of all, nice move. Oh, Dotsuk, the dirty man, the dirty man, the man who. Oh man, I was... okay, that's icing. That's icing. Is it? All right, all right. I, I see what you're doing, ref. Spring Yurko. Interesting. Okay, Yurko, you're playing just like it's in the game. You play like that in real life too, bud. Yep, Yurko, you play like that in real life too. Oh, and a good save, Howard. Man, Yurko, look at 26. Yurko is just doing the circles right now in the fucking neutral zone. I mean, in the fucking defensive zone. That's a penalty. All right, let's go, Zetterberg. Let's see what you got. Apparently nothing that much. boy, Abdelkader. Oh, my God. Fuck you, Chara. Get Cronwall, Chara! Oh. <laughs> anyway. That's not what I wanted to do. Oh, that's actually... That's not what I wanted to do either. All right, left-handed. Let's go. And that about does it for this game. Yep, there it is. And the Detroit Red Wings beat the Baston Bruins. So, yeah, guys, if you're watching this, let me know what you think. I addressed some points here. You know, Eric Cole kind of fucked up the team chemistry. Jimmy Howard just playing like an inconsistent piece of crap. Uh, I mean, Tatar hasn't really been scoring as much lately. Nyquist just scored, you know, he has 23rd after being relegated to the third line for Eric Cole. A bunch of injuries to the team, and just I just think a lack of faith in goal is the number one reason why the Wings are just not doing well. Jimmy Howard giving up key rebounds and goals. Anyway, take it easy, guys, and we will see you in the next video. As always, have a good one.